Sometimes gases are involved in chemical reactions, like the one we just did in lab. So reactions um, can involve gaseous reactants or gaseous products. And the amount of gas, then, is generally not specified by mass, because weighing a gas is no simple matter. But it's often specified in terms of its volume at a given temperature and pressure. And so we can use the ideal gas law to convert pressure, volume, and temperature into number of moles. So the ideal gas law was PV equals nRT. If we're trying to find number of moles, N, then we're just going to divide both sides by RT. These guys cancel out. And N equals PV over RT. So we can do stoichiometry with a twist, whether either a reactant or a product is a gas, or it could be both of them, actually. And we can use um, the ideal gas law to convert the gas information into moles and then continue with our regular stoichiometry process. So here's an example. 4.58 liters of oxygen were formed at 745 millimeters of mercury and 308 Kelvin. How many grams of silver oxide decomposed? So this is a decomposition reaction, silver oxide decomposing into silver and oxygen. Well, let's take this information that we have and write it under our balanced chemical equation here. So under oxygen, we have this information that we 